Alright, so welcome back. Um, going to start to mirror our joints to the other side. So, I have my left shoulder over here, and I can go to skeleton, and under mirror joints, I can go to the option box. And I'm going to tell Maya to mirror it on the Y, Z axis, so that means it's going to mirror across this line. So it's going to go over the, the other side. And then I'm going to tell Maya to search for anything on the left, which has the word left on it. So all of the left shoulder, left elbow, etc, etc. We're going to replace it with the word right. So Maya is going to locate anything that's named left and going to replace it with right. So once we done the mirror, as you can see, it mirrors perfectly to the other side. And the other cool thing is that all of our left shoulder has now become right shoulder, left elbow has become right elbow, right? So same thing for this guy over here. We're going to do the same thing, skeleton and mirror joint, right? So now it's time for us to organize the hierarchies a bit better. So we have a root over here left shoulder, left leg, right shoulder, and right leg. So the left shoulder is going to go to this joint which is our collarbone. So I'm just going to select my collarbone and I go to my outliner and I just have to press F to search for my collarbone. And I'll take my left shoulder, middle mouse button, and you want to put it inside. Don't put it like this, put it inside where it has the whole box highlighted over it. Right, so again, it's not something like this middle mouse button and put it on top where it highlights everything and just let go so what tells over here is that the left shoulder is a child of the collarbone it's not a child or it's not going to be on the same rank as them it's just that telling that this collarbone he has another child and it will be the left shoulder and so on and so forth now we're going to do that for the right shoulder as well so now he has two child which is the left shoulder and the right shoulder right so next thing is going to hook up the leg to this guy over here so I'm just going to select this guy and press F again so this I've named this one to be belly alright so I think we kinda need one more over here so let's let's just select and this is a good way for us to show you how to fix stuff so imagine that I need one more oh, right over here and then this will actually be the belly so let's go to the side view and I'm just going to s click on over here right so this I'm going to tell Maya to have another guy over here and just want to make sure that it's right here in the center so let's go to our outliner here and rename this to maybe hip Oh, we already have a hip so let's call it um i don't know lower back or something like that all right so now that we have this lower back over here what we can do is we go on to our root and we select our belly middle mouse button and drag it out right so it kind of breaks the connection over here so what we can do is we can select our lower back and select our root and press p so that's going to be a child of this guy and we're going to select our belly and select the lower back and press P as well and he's going to be inside the hierarchy right so the lower back is right over there followed by the belly now we can start to focus on putting our left leg to be a child of our lower back and right leg as well right so that will complete our rig setup so here here's the route he's going to control everyone else right so once we're done this next thing is we're going to start to do the controllers we'll probably will start off with the foot controller first followed by the hip controller the back controller all the way up to the head and then we're going to do controllers for the hand and then after that the master controller to control everything all right Alright, so welcome back. Um, we're going to continue on with this model rig. Um, I just forgot a couple of things. Uh, firstly, we need to get this mouth done over here. So let's perhaps go to the side view. And let's turn off our cameras. Camera, camera. 
so basically I want to put one up here to control the upper mouth and press G to do that again for the bottom one right so if you look at our hierarchy and press F you can see that we have two unnamed joints so we can go ahead and put this upper jaw and lower jaw right so let's go back to perspective right we are at perspective and one more thing is just gonna make sure that everything lines up to the center so let's go to the front all right so it's more or less there right smack in the middle right now we actually want to go ahead and create things like an influence object to perhaps control things like um, a good example for this model would be the belly because he has kind of a fat belly and we want it to go like boing or something like that when it runs so we can actually go ahead and add a few more joints over here but we can do that later on let's get started on the controls itself and the first thing first is let me just remove this guy is to start off with our IK handles alright let me just show you what an IK handle is so if we go ahead to go to our skeleton you can see that this thing here called create IK handle tool let's go to the option box right so right now it's set as a single chain solver right so we just want to make sure that it goes to a rotate plane solver and then we'll just select this the first joint over here at the hip we'll skip the knee and I will go to the ankle joint right and as you can see that I get this huge handle over here and I have this circle thing right at the top now again all these handles and joints we can actually go and change the display so if you go on to animation on the display we can change the IK handle size and you can put it a bit smaller to maybe 0 0.1 right, maybe that's too small maybe I put it about 0 0.2 so what does this thing do is that when I select on the handler which is this thing over here I can actually start to move it and you know you can start pow kick someone or you know you can like juggle a ball or something like that alright so that's what it does this IK handle over here now the IK handle itself needs to have a controller alright so next thing is we're going to start to build a curve controller which is going to take charge of this guy over here which moves the up and down forward and backwards etc and I'm also going to do a constraint which would control the rotation as you see right now if I were to press E I can really rotate this guy right so you still have to go over here to the joint and then rotate him like that so we don't want that we want it to all be done by um, a controller everything falls back to one guy who controls everything so that's what we're going to do next Alright, so the next thing as I said is we need to do a controller. So let me just bring back my model over here. And I'm going to go ahead and create an oops, primitive circle. So I'm going to create a circle. We have one super big circle over here. Let's take this circle here and press and hold V to snap it to one of its joints just to bring it down. Alright, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just snap it somewhere over here. We'll scale it into place. Scale, scale, scale. And... Over here, we have um, some of the attributes of the circle and I just want to change the section to maybe about 16. I'll tell you why in a bit, but first let's just position, make sure this guy is right where we want it to be. So I'll press and hold V and snap it to one of these joints over here and then move it out. Right. Um, next thing is we want to try to follow the shape as best as we can, so we'll go ahead and scale it as such and if you go to the control vertex over here as you can see I have 16 control vertex that I can move about so what I want to do is just kind of like modeling I want to move all of these guys into place so that it kind of looks like a foot and the animator won't be confused as to know what kind of control this does because it looks like a foot control since it's like the shape of a foot so he or she won't be confused and we, of course we position it properly towards the bottom side as well over here Right, so this guy can be our foot controller. We can you know, push him down just a bit more if you want to, and then maybe scale it just a bit bigger so it's easier to select. All right. Now it's important that for us we need to freeze transformation, center the pivot, and delete the history after we're done with this. Right. Um. 
maybe what we can do first is let's go to the front right and let's bring up our grid I don't want to see the camera alright so what I'm gonna do is basically I'm just going to change my pivot point by pressing and hold D and then X to snap my pivot point to the center over here Control D this guy and go to my scale X changes to minus 1 right, so that means I duplicated this guy and I move him exactly to the other side and then again freeze transform center pivot and delete the history right, so let's make sure this guy's the same as well so the idea is that we want to use these controllers this guy will control the left leg this guy will control the right leg and they will be somehow connected to this guy to control the up and down movement and the kick forward and stuff like that and he, this guy will also control the rotation so for example if I were to go to E and I just do like that the whole leg should rotate as well alright so let's get going to do that first of all I'm gonna name one of these controller here right now it's called NURBS CIRCLE I'm gonna call this left foot CTRL for controller and this guy is going to be right foot CTRL right and over here I have a IK handle over here so I'm just gonna call this left leg IK alright Alright, so we're going to go ahead and select our foot control, shift, select our IK handle, and then we're going to go to constraint, and then we're going to go to parent option box. We're going to make sure that all of these settings are checked, make sure that translate for all is checked, is the most important one over here, and we can go ahead and click apply. So once we do that, we can go ahead and select our controller, and as you can see, I can start to move the translation of my leg simply using this controller. All right, and good thing because we freeze transformation earlier. So assuming that you know you have your leg over here and then you start to animate something else, you want to bring this guy back to the default position. All you have to do is change all this translation to zero. Right, as you can see, if I select my controller over here, the translate and rotate have all of their values keep so it doesn't matter that this here has a very funny value it's okay as long as the connection over here which is this controller has all its value zeroed out then we're gonna be good all right so next thing is we're gonna do for the rotation so same thing again we're gonna select the controller shift select this guy over here which is the ankle joint and then we're gonna go ahead to constraint this time we're gonna go to orient Let's go to the option box again make sure that maintain offset is checked and constraint at all axis and then we're going to hit apply right so as you can see over here this joint has its rotation in blue that means it's constrained to something means it's following something and that something is this guy over here so if i were to move this out here and then i can rotate him as such so you can see that you know he's following like how a real leg should follow right and step up like you know he bends his leg and then he does a Jackie Chan boom kick someone all right so and you know once we're done with that we can select this guy and we can go back to zero so it returns back to zero now there's one more thing that we have not done which is to control the knee so imagine your knee if you just plant your foot on the ground you can kind of move your knee left and right do a bit of a twist with your knee so we can do that for this character as well where we were gonna create some form like of a box or something like that and then we can go ahead and use that as a controller so most of our controllers are going to be curves like either a circle or something else and then we're going to use that to move around alright so next part is we're going to do the knee control next 